It's been more than 15 months since the USS Theodore Roosevelt made an emergency port call here after a virus outbreak aboard ship. CNO Admiral Michael Gilday was closely monitoring the situation from the Pentagon and took the opportunity to come to Guam to offer his personal thanks to Governor Leon Guerrero. When she allowed us to bring the ship in, there were no strings attached, there was no small print, uh, there, were, uh, there were no significant conditions that we had to meet. She just asked the question, how can I help? And so, again, that was really for me the most uh, important part of being here uh, today is to, is to just say thank you. He says that the experience in Guam was key to helping the Navy deal with the pandemic. We learned a lot from what happened on Theodore Roosevelt. We, uh, uh, we took great care to develop detailed standard operating procedures that we uniformly um, um, uh, implemented across the United States Navy that kept our, uh, that, that contained the virus. Admiral Gilday also took questions during his press briefing about the current military buildup and the role of Camp Blas, the first new Marine Corps base in 70 years. It gives us options. It's a launching point, if you will, into the Pacific where across many vectors we can move Marines where we need them most in a way that's very agile, very flexible and very rapid. He acknowledged there are concerns from the local community about the environmental and cultural impact of the base. If we can't work hand in glove with the people of Guam to make sure that as we expand our footprint, that we're doing that in a way that's completely respectful of uh, cultural concerns and environmental concerns, then we're destined to fail. Uh, and so uh, this has to be, these projects have to be a win-win for the people of Guam and, and, for the, and for the Department of Defense. In fact, Guam as a whole plays a vital role now more than ever as the military's focus has shifted to the Indo-Pacific. It's easy to just say it's strategically important with respect to geography, but what makes that even more meaningful is the partnership that we have with the people of Guam. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto. Thank you.